We have been accustomed to a wide range of things over the last few years, including images of wildfires, incinerated creatures, and ice sheets collapsing into the ocean. Huge changes in the climate have an impact on every living thing on Earth, from soaring heat waves to freezing cold. Yet, have you ever attempted to determine where it all began? When did climate change and its emergence become a recognized phenomenon? Let me tell you that 35 years ago, the long, scorching summer of 1988 served as the catalyst for a movement among wild leaders to address the implications of climatic change. Then, in his address, former U.S. presidential candidate George Bush Sr. proposed using the term White House effect to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, Despite Thatcher's warning that a massive experiment was being done on the planet itself, little action was taken following the Bush administration. Nevertheless, 35 years earlier, or 70 years ago this month, although it was widely acknowledged that carbon dioxide retained heat, the threat of a buildup of the gas in the atmosphere was not. Scientists nevertheless demonstrated the atmospheric emergence of desired carbon dioxide. Years later, in 1985, a Swedish Nobel Prize winner predicted that the accumulation of carbon dioxide will be so great over the next 100 years that it will feed heat waves all across the planet, making not freezing temperatures a thing of the past. Although his work was criticized, the concept occasionally appeared in popular periodicals. But it wasn't until the American Geophysical Union Conference in early May 1953 that Canadian physicist Gilbert Plas, who had been Calendar's correspondent, informed the Gothard sciences that trouble was on the horizon. This was then taken up by international media reporting and turned into a hotly contested scientific fact. When PLUS talked, there were roughly 310 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. At 423 parts per million right now, there is every possibility. Thing will be 100 years old by the time PLUS is warning since we will have exceeded the 2 degrees Celsius warming limit that was previously considered safe, the concentrations will be significantly greater.